part two of the crocodile video. So I started on the turtle. There's this curve here, like a semicircle. And then draw a little, another little semicircle here for its neck. It's where its head is going to come out, like this. Two lines, okay. And then kind of draw an oval on the end. You can see that that's its face, okay. And then you kind of curve the bottom of the turtle's shell. And then you add these plates down here, okay. They're like semicircles, but they're a little bit squarish, all right. You just put your legs down there. It's two lines with a little front curve, almost like what we did on the elephant. And they actually, turtles have tails, a little short, little spiky tail. Then they have this kind of plate pattern on their back. Start like this, two lines that are almost gonna make a triangle, but then just chop it off, all right? Trapezoid, I believe, is the name. Then you get one in here. Okay, that's actually a hexagon right there. Okay, so there's your turtle, that's pretty easy, okay? Now I'm gonna blow your minds. I'm gonna draw a big branch out here. Ba -na 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 -na. That is a tree branch hanging over the river, all right? Now I'm gonna keep it simple for a minute to make this snake, watch this. Snake's head, we're gonna start with an oval up here. Okay, and then come in a little bit, and then its neck comes down to the branch. Oh, I can already see that's a disgusting snake. Oh, snakes scare me. All right, mm -hmm. and we're gonna bring this line along the branch, and then we're gonna wrap it around the branch. And this is tricky. I'm gonna do this a little slow, and you can rewind this video, watch this. You're gonna bring it over the front of the branch, stop and come down, and you're gonna curve up, okay? So this is in front of the branch. I can't erase these, but you can later. So the tail you gotta imagine in your mind, it's coming up and around. So here's where the tail continues, okay? And it comes in front, so it, it's thick. It's gonna come down like this, and then it's gonna go behind the branch. So you have to imagine with your mind it's coming up here. Right? I'm doing that in my mind. Now I'm bringing it down. And I'm curving it. And again, it just went behind the branch. But this time I'm going to end it. I'm just going to come up to like a point. And that might be hard to see, but watch. I'm going to kind of camouflage my so-called mistake here with these triangles. Now you can erase it, but since I can't erase it, I'm putting a pattern on the snake's back of triangles. Now watch how I'm gonna use this line that I don't really want to make some triangles, so that's not so obvious what I did, how I made a, how I can't erase. All right, triangle, triangle, triangle. Triangle, triangle. Triangle coming down here. Triangle, my triangle, triangle. See, I keep using that line of the tree branch to hide my mistake. Now it's not so obvious. Like I said, oh, let's give him a creepy snake eye. Give him a tongue, right? Then you can work on your branch. I like to split the branch, makes it look a little more natural. Put some leaves on there. The leaves look a lot like the snake head, and I think they do in real life. I think that's camouflage, right? Put a branch up here. So again, this is something, I know this is hard, I know it's tricky, that you could try. Remember he's going in front, then you stop, in front, stop, and in front. It's almost like you're making the shape here. It's like an S, S, S. All right, and then 
Let's look at some of these colored ones. This one's half colored in, right? I threw a bird even on his head here. And I did some of the water and the turtle, okay? This one's like completely colored in. How you could, this is just crayon too. So I don't want to hear any excuses. You can do this, okay? So this one's finished. There you go, part two.